Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. We're talking about a new feature coming soon to the Godot game engine. Now as always for these videos, when I say coming soon, that means it's currently in the development branch, but not live yet. So this is a feature coming to 3.1. But if you want to check it out, at least today, as of time of this publishing, you do need to either build from source or grab one of the nightly builds for this to work. Or you can just wait a couple weeks. This will be part of Godot 3.1's release. And what we're talking about specifically today is typed. GD script. Now, uh, when you're dealing with a script language, there's normally two ways of going about things, typed list or inferred typing or typed. Now, I'll give you an example of each. C, C++ are typed language. You have to tell the compiler what type each of your variable is. Now, there's some ways around this, things like auto or var, but that's just kind of semantic sugar. Behind the scenes, it still needs to know at compile time what the type is. Now, a lot of scripting languages go with type lists, inferred types or duck types. Those are three ways of saying the exact same thing. And that is the interpreter basically figures out what the variable is by looking at it. This is why it's called duck type. That looks like a duck, sounds like a duck, quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, flies like a duck. It's a duck. Um, basically, it uses the same logic for trying to determine what kind of variable it is. So if it's expecting a certain function to be there, it will check for it. If it finds that function, it's happy. That's the type it's looking for. Um, and there are strengths and weaknesses to both systems. But one of the things that you generally find, uh, for example, JavaScript is a type list system, but it really struggles once you try to make very complex systems using JavaScript. So that's why there have been things like Dart and TypeScript that have been built over top of JavaScript that add a layer of typing to it. Well, what has just happened is uh, GDScript or Godot has just actually got this functionality as well. So I'll give you a very quick demonstration of how typed Godot script works and you can decide if this is a feature you like or you don't like. Now, personally, I like working in typed languages. I don't find a little bit of extra typing um, is a high cost to pay for knowing exactly what type I'm dealing with, but some people hate it. But don't worry. If you like the way GDScript works today, GDScript continues to work the exact same way. This is a feature built on top. So this is all really just added functionality going forward. So let's look at, um, right now, you declare a variable like this, var uh, bob equals something or something. And the interpreter will try to figure out exactly what kind of variable Bob is. Well, now what we can do is go uh, Bob, and then we can say here, Bob is a string named like that. And now what we have is a type, oops, string is not a valid. There we go. So now that it knows that Bob is in fact a string. Well, the cool thing here is if we did it the other way, here, we'll do that with an ant instead. It's easier to illustrate. So we're gonna say, there, Bob is an int with the initial value of 42. Well, now if we take Bob, because now it knows what Bob is and what Bob can do, if we try to make Bob do something Bob can't do anymore, we'll get an error. So here you see Bob equals Bob plus tree because I'm being very random here and you can't add a tree to an int it just doesn't work so that's what you see now here we're getting invalid operand types between int and string it could have never done this before because it couldn't infer the type that it had so there's where typing comes in it allows you to layer grab a first level of logic error as a result and get rid of that guy so now here we are, and right down here, what you see is an example of how a function can be declared. And it works pretty much the exact same way. What we're saying is this function called my function takes one parameter of type int and it returns a void. So now we can go ahead and call my function. So my function says Bob is an int, that is perfectly good. But if I go my function tree, we are going to get an error because the types don't match. So this is basically typed in value. Another thing that you would see is we go back here to our function, and since it takes a void or no return type, if I inside of this guy say return 42, like this, we will get void function cannot return a value. So you're getting this level of type checking built on top of the scripting language that, you know, again, if you come from a typed language and you miss this functionality, the ability to define these types using this colon operator does make things a lot um, more familiar to you. But if you don't want to use this again, GDScript is exactly as it has always been from day number one. And that's about all I'm going to cover today. Again, this is coming in 3.1, and there's a bit of a write-up here on uh, 
the Godot Engine blog. Of course, I will toss this link down below. So if you want to learn a bit more about why you might want to use typing, how it is implemented, and what the future of it is, uh, do be sure to check out this blog link. Again, like I said, I will toss this down below in the comments. So that is the new typed layer coming on top of GDScript in Godot 3.1. Once again, there are no negatives to this. There's, it's no performance penalty, at least not initially. In the future, there might actually be a performance gain because the, the um, interpreter um, can actually now look at this and go, okay, I know what type to expect and do some optimizations as a result. But that functionality is not there yet. But at the very, very worst case scenario, this is exactly like GDScript was before, just with some new functionality available for people that like it. And going forward, this functionality might actually, again, give the compiler some hints to how it can make your code run better. So there's no negatives to this. There's no way this can be interpreted as a negative. This is 100% a good development for Godot 3.1. And if there's something that I'm not thinking of that is a negative, please do let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, let me know what you think of this new functionality. Uh, oh, also there's um, casting available with the as function. So if you basically want to say this is a string, you can say as string and turn that object into that type. It's just like casting in any other language you're used to. But yeah, that's uh, the new typing that's coming to GD Script. Once again, completely optional, but I am interested in hearing what you think of it. Let me know, comments down below. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.